Honestly, I don't even know where to begin. Actually, I was in the middle of producing a different video, but I have to delay it due to some current, very serious events. I've never had to make a video like today, but make sure you stay tuned, because it is very important, especially for those affected. Here's a little bit of a backstory. You certainly noticed that I've been on a bit of a mini PC trip in recent times and have reviewed quite a few models. The majority were by the Ace Magic slash Ace Magician brand. In fact, every now and then I've received a few seemingly random comments on videos telling me to delete my Ace Magic videos or why I'm completely ignoring current events. At first I thought it was just trolls trying to drag me down in some way. There are plenty of such attempts on YouTube or social media in general for that matter. I was just minding my own business and working on a few video projects, but in a coffee break I decided to google for any current Ace Magic topics just out of curiosity. And I'll tell you one thing, my heart sank at that time. Right away I understood what all the fuss was about. And now we are getting to the point. It has been confirmed by multiple sites and sources that certain Ace Magic mini PCs are infected with malware that is factory installed on the pre installed Windows operating system. Admittedly, I haven't done a lot of research into this because I wanted to get this video out as quickly as possible in the hope of warning as many people affected as possible, including a few loyal viewers of this channel. I simply want to prevent anything worse from happening. According to some reports, the malware is supposed to be hidden somewhere on the recovery partition of Windows. In other cases, the corresponding LED software for controlling lighting or similar is said to be infected. In fact, I still have the opportunity to scan my Ace Magic S1 that I reviewed a few weeks back for malware because it still contains not only the tool for the RGB lighting but also the tool for controlling the integrated screen. If those virus scanners can be trusted, in my case, both tools appear to be virus free and somewhat safe. I also included the entire folder with all DLL files in it, etc. for the scan. Neither online antivirus services nor Windows Defender pick up on anything. A full system scan with Windows Defender also came back clean. Just because the pre-installed control software is not infected does not mean there isn't any malware sitting somewhere deeper within the system and the hidden. In my case, unfortunately, after a new installation, which I carried out weeks ago, this can no longer be checked. I strongly advise everyone affected to delete your existing Windows installation and go for a fresh install using the official Microsoft ISO file. I've put the link into the video description for you. You can also download the tool by Microsoft, which helps you create a bootable USB drive with Windows installation media. To be on the safe side, I would refrain from simply resetting the operating system to its factory state because there's simply no way of knowing for sure how deep potential malware might be sitting. It is therefore best to carry out a completely fresh new installation, better safe than sorry. For all of you that do not know what to do with the successfully created USB flash drive, here are some steps to follow. It is best to create backups of personal data and files that are still on the device before we actually get started. These will be deleted and be gone after the new installation. Once you've done that, go ahead and insert the mentioned USB drive into one of the USB ports of the device and power it on. It's best advised to hammer on the delete key on your keyboard right after you hit the power button until you boot into the UEFI BIOS of the mini PC. Once there, make sure that under the boot options you actually set the boot from your USB drive that should have been recognized. Then simply save the BIOS setting and now you should arrive at the Windows installation setup. The following steps are easy and straightforward. Now that was the technical part. I additionally advise you to change your passwords immediately. Sure, maybe nothing even happened to your accounts, but it's better to be safe, you never know. Now here are some questions heading my way. Why didn't I catch that? The answer is simple, because I always carry out a fresh installation of Windows on all devices after the first initial impression lasting 5 to 10 minutes without any logins. This applies to mini PCs, laptops and desktop PCs. This is an old habit of mine and as you now can see, a good one. But at the same time, 
that also means that I'm not really dealing with the usual normal case of a regular customer. I'm not entirely getting the same experience. I went with my own new installation, not with the one already provided by the manufacturer. Second question, how will I deal with such devices in the future? The answer to that, in fact, I will point out the events that occurred clearly in the video, even if future devices would no longer be affected by them. In addition, before I carry out a fresh Windows installation anyway, I will start a virus scan and show you the result in the video. Now the question remains whether or not Ace Magic knew about this whole ordeal, because supposedly one or the other company or supplier is responsible for those Windows install images and or certain software. Now whether or not we can trust a claim like that is unclear. But I am not a person who immediately sees evil in everything and therefore strongly suspect that the brand Ace Magic for real didn't know anything about it, initially at least. According to some reports, many mini PC models aren't even affected and those that once were no longer are affected. I think it just depends on the remaining stock and what batch individual sellers and stores end up with. But still be cautious. I am aware that I am stepping on the Ace Magic brand's toes with this video, making myself really unpopular over there, maybe even enemies, and that will most certainly have negative consequences for me in terms of working on video projects with them. But as a person who publicly reviews products, one also has a certain responsibility to bear. It's actually quite hard for me to assess whether I'm doing the right thing because I've never had to deal with something like that before. Please spread the word to prevent as much harm as possible to those affected. If you happen to know more on this subject, I would be very happy to find out more. Thank you.